don't hate. Please. Guys, please. No, don't. No, don't say that. Please. No. Oh, come on, guys. Just don't. No, really? Come on. You don't really mean that. Honestly, oh, that's really harsh. Guys, please don't hate on me for this video. I'm going to say something now and I'm going to drop... Not drop the F-bomb, but drop the C-bomb. God is back. Black Ops 3, or the beta, in my opinion, okay, and this is in my opinion, is the best Call of Duty ever made. Now, guys, please don't hate on that. Please, please, no. Oh, come on, guys, you don't really don't mean that. Come on, please. No, don't, no, don't unsubscribe. No, no, don't just give the video. No, please don't. Di no. Jokes aside, guys, it's incredible. Now, I honestly thought that this game could not beat my favourite Call of Duty, Black Ops 1, which was my first ever Call of Duty. And at the moment, the beta is not better than that. But I'm looking at the potential in Black Ops 3 in the whole game. If they fix, the only few things they need to fix are the specialist abilities, oh, penis, I'll describe it as. And then um, the ability to, of Black Hat or the Perk Hacker or whatever it is, that the enemies can hack your, for example, VSAT, UAV so easily, and even hack your Wraith, and then it becomes theirs. If they just get sorted out, and if it's a lot harder to do those things, a lot harder to earn specialists, this game definitely has the potential to be the best ever Call of Duty. Now, I know we've only had three maps at the beginning, then a fourth, but if all the maps are as good as these maps we've got at the moment, it's the best COD ever made. And remember, this is without zombies as well, and zombies is being set back in the World War II era. This is why I'm looking at it and honestly thinking this could really be the best Call of Duty ever made. Now, some people saying they don't like the score streaks, but what the hell? The streaks are in this game are amazing. My Wraith has once got me 22 kills. The VSAT is a VSAT. It's really, really good. UAV is a UAV. Counter UAV is a counter UAV. Lightning Strike is a Lightning Strike. A Hellstorm is a Hellstorm. It gets you kills. And we still don't know what the final kill streak is. We still don't know a few of the guns as well. Snipers aren't OP. Brilliant. Only one of the shotguns is OP. Brilliant. I mean, obviously, it's not good that it's that OP, but it's still not as good as the Remington from Black Ops 2. And loads of you guys will say Black Ops 2 is your favourite Call of Duty, but in Black Ops 2 you had to deal with the constant bullshit of the snipers and the shotguns and the LMGs. Now in this game the LMGs take a lot of shots to kill. Yes, they are really effective with no recoil and so on, but they are really, really good. And this game does, honestly, have the potential to be the best Call of Duty ever made. And that's including the campaign, which I know will be the best ever, because it's the best ever every single year. Advanced Warfare campaign, in my opinion, was the best campaign up to this point. That's the only thing I liked about the game, was pretty much the campaign, Exo Zombies, and maybe a few games I've had online, but that's it. Now, the streaks in this game, the Raps, for example, brand new thing, they're really, really awesome. The, all the maps, the four maps we've had so far, including Stronghold, some people don't like it, but including Stronghold are really good, and you guys might say, well, they've only included the best maps. But guys, Nuketown 2065 has been hinted at a lot, so that's another map, that's five guaranteed brilliant maps so far, hopefully there's not too much bullshit on Nuketown, but that's five guaranteed brilliant maps, and that's excluding the DLC, what maps they might bring back as well. So we know that there are at least, every, pretty much every lobby, there will at least be one guaranteed really, really good map. And if they're going to bring back maps like Standoff and Black Ops 2 and fan favourite maps, it's done. It's the best game. The guns, yes, the Razorback has been nerfed a bit, but that's the whole point of the beta, they're trying things out. The servers, they aren't quite dedicated servers and they're not quite the old servers, they're in the middle, so they are improved servers. I mean, if you won't know what the P2P system is for servers, that's what it's called. I'm not going to sound like a nerd here or whatever, because I'm honestly, I don't really know. All I know is that the P2P servers are the ones we've had on Call of Duty since day one, since Modern Warfare 2. It picks a host, but guy with the best connection. What they've done is they've kept that, but they've improved it a lot. And they're actually now called Listen Servers. And they're one step below dedicated servers, or one step above um, the previous P2P servers. Look at me going in, 31 and 2 in the first round, it's incredible. But um, there are no, there's no skill-based matchmaking in the game, it's another bonus to this game. So, in my opinion, this game definitely does have the potential to be the best game ever made. Now, all I know is in the last five days, actually six days, because Treyarch listened to their fans and they extended the beta for another day and a half on the, P on the PS4, which is amazing. Um, that it, has the, it has the potential to be the best game. In the last five days, I've only been playing this game, and it's been brilliant. I haven't got bored of the three or four maps at all. And that, again, that's me saying again, that's without zombies, that's without all maps online, that's without all the known guns, that's without the last known killstreak. I think killstreaks in this game are balanced, they're really good. I think the rejack ability, many people don't like it, I think it's balanced, because you can't, there's a lot of smoke, you know the guy's there, you can't just only shoot him as soon as you're prone on the ground. It takes time, and I've stopped using it now. I was actually using it quite a bit, you guys 
guys will see a few gameplays that I've used it. 91 kill like gameplay I believe coming up with the new game mode Safeguard. There's another thing, a few new game modes like Safeguard, they're awesome. And they're also bringing back loads of the fan favourite game modes as well. They brought back Uplink from Advanced Warfare, maybe perhaps the only good thing that came out of that game. It has the potential to be the best Call of Duty ever. Guys, give the video a like if you agree with this, or give the video a like if you enjoyed my comment, uh, commentary on it. If you guys don't think it's going to be the best Call of Duty, that's fine. But again, remember, we've got to wait until November. We've got to wait until, really, halfway through Black Ops 3 to decide whether or not it will be the best game. What I'm saying is that it definitely has the potential to be the best Call of Duty. Now, this beta is not finished. There are glitches in it. There are... There are things in it, but that's the whole point of a beta. It's the unfinished day game. They've still got a few more months to completely master the game. And if they get those vital gun nerfs, patches, and so on in there for certain streaks, we're done. It's finished. It's the best game. If they get rid of like, some of the head glitching places that I that I talked about the other day, and if they reduce the OPness of um, a couple guns and the and the specialists. Then we're, then we're officially set. Because you've got to remember, Zombies is coming, more maps are coming, and if all the maps are this good, it's going to be the best game ever made. I'm sorry, guys. And that's a lot coming from me, because Black Ops 1 was my favourite, and my mind was firmly set until I've played this game for five days, that that game would never be beaten. But I've had so much fun on this game. I know it's only the beta, but I never had this much fun on any other Call of Duty in the first five days of release. Never. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what you think, as always. And I'll see you guys over on, over on the next one. By the way, Treyarch, bloody good job on the game. GG. Vondahar, good job, man. I'll see you guys over on the next one. But if you close your eyes...